New Chinese law has limited the amount of time that people under the age of 18 can play video games to three hours a week, and those can only be played on weekends. A spokesperson for the Chinese regime called video games spiritual opium and says that they're a form of electronic drug. The Chinese government is primarily worried that Chinese children are becoming addicted to video games and that they're falling behind in school as well as in their physical and emotional health as they spend hours on online games. So, as they've intruded more into companies like Tencent Holdings, which is one of the largest video game makers in the world, they've expanded their ability to require that children register with their name accurately so that their amount of time spent on video games can be tracked and limited. Tencent Holdings saw some of this coming and recently limited app usage to an hour a day for people under the age of 18. However, obviously, the Chinese government has gotten more extreme than... Now, I don't necessarily think that this is a bad thing. I think that there are a lot of people in the United States that I know of under the age of 18 who are severely addicted to video games. However, it's completely true that the Chinese government went about this in the wrong way. If you are to make a lasting societal change, it needs to come from the individual family level. And it even needs to come from the fact of individual children realizing that they don't want to be addicted to video games. Just like you can't stop smoking by telling people not to smoke, they need to individually choose not to smoke. You can't stop video game addiction by telling people from the top down not to play video games because as people have pointed out on Weibo, which is a Chinese version of Twitter, it's going to be very hard for the government to enforce these rules. Whereas in the United States, we might hope to have a model of societally recognizing that video game addiction is a real problem and intervening on our own. But that would require us first accepting the fact that our major geopolitical competitor, China, takes video game addiction far more seriously than we do. And that if we allow our generation of children that are being raised right now to be raised to be addicted to cell phones, to be addicted to video games, and to be addicted to the dopamine hits that accompany those things, that they will be severely mentally weaker than their Chinese counterparts. And that this will be one key uh, and one component to the erosion of our hegemonic status, which will, of course, mean that the standard of living for the people in America will get worse. So, while this Chinese rule is crazy and authoritarian, it is something that needs to spur thought here in America as to how we should handle video game addiction, because it is certainly a real issue.